Hey, let's go through the basic workflow that Dr. PC Fix used to see if maybe this works for you. Um, the first step is either to find the customer or um, if you know they're a new customer, you can just add a customer. Um, from the invoice screen, there's a new invoice button. Let's say this person's at our front counter with their computer. We can go um, straight to create an invoice, or the typical workflow is we're over in the ticket system, someone walks in, we just do a search for their name, oh here they are, let's look at their profile. From the profile, quickly see they don't have any tickets but they do have some invoices, and from here we can make a new ticket. New ticket is you know someone at the counter with their computer, this is going to be their job. We usually do something like black Dell laptop has a virus. That's an example subject. We'll give that a virus of the type. Track where they came from. We'll ask them right at the front counter. Where'd you hear about us? Google. Does it come with a power adapter? Yes or no. We don't want to lose that in the shop. This one does. Does the computer need a password? Yes, it's Superman. Okay, we'll create the ticket, and the ticket is created. The first step in the workflow, before any of this stuff even happens, is to define the problem. So here we'll say problem, and this is not a hidden, this is actually going to email them. Dell came in with, I'm going to pause the video and type the rest of this comment. Okay came in with what appears to be a virus, we'll take a look at it and get back to you with a diagnosis ASAP. We'll make a note of what else it came with, if it came with a laptop bag or whatever, we'll put that here. And then create comment, that fires off an email, and that makes the PDF actually look decent. So now we've got this PDF, it states the problem, it's got some timestamps. We will print two of these. We'll hand the customer a paper copy, and we'll tape a paper copy of this right to the computer, right to the lid. So now that job is tracked back on the workbench. Okay, so it's back there, it's sitting there, now the regular ticket workflow is underway. Here we are, it's pink because it hasn't been diagnosed. Red is getting stale, it needs an update. So let's go to this pink one and we're gonna put a diagnosis on it. We've looked at the computer, it definitely has a virus. Update type is diagnosis. Okay. Diagnosis is a custom little update type there that'll trigger this workflow. It'll change this free diagnostic to a yes and change that color code on we're in the ticket system too. So this diagnosis, we, we word it like it's an email going out to the customer because that is what it's going to be doing. The computer does have a virus. We've seen this one a number of times lately and we can surely remove it. We just need approval to spend an hour on it in the shop at $75 an hour. You can reply to this or call us anytime. Thanks. So we create that. That gets emailed out to them. If, if the diagnosis was already done and you would wanted that to be hidden, you can just check hidden and it won't email. It won't show up on anything you print. It'll just you know, be a different color here and show up just for you guys. So now we've got this couple comments here. That's two emails now that have gone to the customer. So they're getting good communication from you. At this point, we might call them, or we might go work on other tickets until we hear from them. No color code, because this one is in a normal status. It says in progress for the status. So let's say we called them and got approval over the phone. So that update is going to look like this. So this work approved says no, because the approval type hasn't been put on here. So we get approval over the phone. And we're not going to make it hidden because we want to be reiterating and communicating well and actually documenting to the customer. So an update for an approval over the phone might look like this. Okay, we've got an approval message. Hey there, per our phone conversation, approving the work, we'll get started right away. You should get an update from us by tomorrow morning. Have a good one. This comment goes on. It seems redundant. It's emailing them even though we just talked. 
But now if they ever come back and say, I didn't approve that, they're getting this email right away. So, you know, they're seeing this. Everyone's on the same page. We're not going to have any miscommunications about the pricing or anything. This is going to be a really clean job. So now that it's got the free diagnostic and the approval, we have a new button here, make invoice. The rest of the workflow has been triggered. When we're done with this, we can come here and put a completed message on it, or we can make the invoice first. At this point, it's far enough along that the invoice can be made. We're going to put a completed message on here. Completed. Okay, we got your computer all fixed up. Virus is removed. You can come pick up the computer anytime. Create that comment. That'll send another email. Should be the last email. Status still in progress because we still want this ticket open. Um, but we're going to actually change that status to invoiced. Just hit enter here. Now on the ticket screen, it'll be green for money. And we can go make that invoice. Making the invoice on this ticket screen instead of the invoices screen will automatically link the two. When you make invoice from this button, we're now in an invoice that is linked to the ticket. You see the related ticket down at the bottom of the invoice here. And on the PDF, it's going to show up to full integration. So we've already got labor in here, one quantity. That's the price we've got set on our inventory screen right over here. So there's the invoice total. And if we look at that PDF to print it off and set it on the computer, it's going to have the invoice, return policy, signature line, and then the ticket details right below. So at this point, we would print this and tape this to the computer as well. So when they come to pick up that computer, it's got the ticket and the invoice on it ready to go so they can just be rung up when they walk in. That might be it for this one until they walk in. So they come in the next morning, we go to the invoices screen, see their invoice. Ticket is open is what this lock means, meaning it's not in a paid status and it's it probably shouldn't be because the job is still here in the office. So we're gonna go to this invoice. They're gonna pay us with a credit card, 8124. So we can actually do a quick payment. It's now marked as paid. The PDF will reflect that. Can give them this PDF. We can fire off an email to this person with the PDF. It's just instantly done in the background there. And we can go on with our day. So now in the invoices screen, it's marked as tech took payment, which in reports shows up as paid, but you don't get the green check mark until an admin actually goes and confirms this is really a paid invoice. This checkbox isn't here unless you're an admin. So you can come check this. Yep, it was paid. Date received was 8-3-12. And that date is what all the reports are going to be using for when we got this money. That's more or less one job start to finish. So there are little things we can add. We have address labels printed on those address label stickers laying around the shop with a, a blank space for the ticket number. So we'll put a little sticker on all the different components that come in the shop so that we know, you know whose power cords are with what computer. But that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with this system. Just part of the workflow, stuff that we've found helps us. Hope you enjoyed.